Hey friends, this is my new uh, reptile. It's a uh, clown or painted agama lizard, and I have named him Picasso. And I think Bert, Bob Purcell is the one that suggested that in the initial video I did of him while he was still at the store. This is a very, very temporary setup that he's in, and uh, he'll be going in a 40 breeder. I'm gonna break down the 40 breeder saltwater tank that I had the peacock menace in and uh, move him into that. Move the tank and stand in here with the other reptiles. And I'll have my window open too in there so the birds can have that whole three windows instead of one. But anyway, while I was out today, Picasso puked and I did a gross exam on it and kicked it around a little bit with some tongs and it's basically just um, super worms. And he was had a bunch of them in his container, I mean his habitat at the store yesterday and uh, had crickets all around. If you see that video and didn't pay any attention to the crickets, uh, he sees that little gnat or whatever on the sand there. Um, but anyway, he's acting fine otherwise. Um, I misted him this morning and uh, like you're supposed to do and he did lick water off the rocks. I'm gonna put some uh, uh, fake plants in there and uh, some, something that he can lick uh, water off of. And he does have a small water bowl as is recommended. He's got some greens. Need to get another food bowl that's for reptiles, but that suffices. Uh, last night I did some hand feeding just to kind of settle him in and I gave him two um, super worms sometimes call them wonder worms, but they're super worms. So if I said wonder, uh, but right now he is really, really seems to be real hungry. And I've consulted with uh, two or three people in the fish fam that also keep reptiles or have in the past. And I think he probably just had too many of these super worms. Uh, they really are just supposed to be a treat. They're not that nutritious. Uh, they're not bad, but it's just that they are kind of hard to digest. I'm real careful about giving the chameleons um, the wonder worms as well and try to stick with crickets for the most part and the, the wonder worms just a treat. So I've got one of my stashes of uh, crickets right here and I want to make sure he doesn't get too many of them. So I'm going to scare most of them off of this uh, structure, hoping they stay down in here. Uh, got a lot of them. This is, uh, well, it was three dozen, but the chameleons have had their way with them. Look at that today. So I definitely don't want to put all those in there. I don't want to get him too full again and have him throwing up. Look at all those. Wow. The chameleons love that when I stick that um, in their container or in their habitat. Why do I keep saying container? All right, it looks like we've got two on that side and none on this side unless that's a third one so that's just a couple just a few and this guy's real sorry real hand tamed and accustomed to um, you see he didn't flinch at all i held him before i got him close these guys up So maybe not having the option of worms, he'll eat the crickets and keep them down. Yeah, there's at least three of them in there. They're, they hide quite easily on the, now he looks bored. He's actually right under a, a basking light. So this is temporary set up here, guys. I've been trying to find a screen to fit the 40 breeder and I'm probably going to have to make one this weekend because the lights do get hot but that's a UVB light uh, and also gives him some heat so he's enjoying that. Showing some interest. He's got a little bit of greens over here and some carrots and cabbage and lettuce. And there actually was one wonder worm in there, so I'll see if he got it. I put three in there and I hand fed him two of them last night. So I'll make sure I get that other one out if it's still in there. 
crickets. Don't get in there and drown your silly cells. It's the bad thing about having water. The crickets always drown themselves. So yeah, this is Picasso, and he's a agamid lizard. He's a uh, and a male agama uh, clown or painted, and uh, he's about a foot long, I would say, 10 and a half, 11 inches at least, and the males get a little bigger than the females in these. Uh, they like things a little warmer uh, than a lot of um, easy to keep uh, reptile um, such as geckos and um, I can't think. He's first cousins to ah, can't remember. And they're actually a lizard. Um, but anyway, uh, the care is basically the same. Simply they like it a little bit warmer, like desert conditions. And he was a surrender at the shop I got him at. Uh, just said they couldn't take care of him anymore. And since I've been looking for one of these guys, I snatched him up. I didn't go there to get any more uh, reptiles. Just went there to get some crickets for my existing chameleons. So then I had to buy more crickets to make sure I had enough for a new reptile. He's very interested in the little gnats and things that crawl around in there. Very interested in that. So these guys are from Northern Africa, basically, uh, extremely Southern European areas, and um, really, really easy to keep as long as you keep them nice and warm and pretty dry. And I'm going to miss him again. It says just to miss him once a day. Uh, but I'm going to miss him again. But after I put in something other than the rocks and the, the bowls for him to lick droplets off. Uh, all right, we're almost at eight minutes. And I appreciate you guys 